have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Cheryl Hillary the Ruth Owen Kennedy MacDonald and William George Matthew Nippel. To ask God's blessing on them and to share in their joy Jesus Christ himself I guess that the wedding of in Cana of Galilee and through his spirit he is with us now. God has made us male and female and marriage is his gift, a holy mystery in which man and woman become one flesh, united in love and called to be faithful to each other throughout their lives. Marriage is given so that husband and wife may comfort and help each other, living faithfully together in need and in plenty, in sorrow and in joy. It is given that with delight and tenderness they may know each other in love and through the joy of their bodily union may strengthen the union of their hearts and lives. It is given so that the stability it imparts to their relationship may be a source of strength to others and the foundation of a secure family life for any children they may have. In marriage, husband and wife belong to one another and they begin a new life in the community. It is a way of life that all should honor. It must not be undertaken carelessly, lightly, or selfishly, but reverently, responsibly, and after serious thought and contemplation. This is the way of life created and hallowed by the Lord that William George Matthew Nipper and Cheryl Hillary de Ruth Owen Kennedy MacDonald are now about to enter. Bill and Ruth continue to believe God's desire is that a marriage should be both permanent and mutually edifying despite their failures in previous marriages. Bill and Ruth have agreed to endeavor anew to fulfill God's will for marriage by striving to be faithful and understanding towards one another and above all to do each other good and not evil all the days of their lives together. Let us offer Bill and Ruth our prayers and support as they publicly declare their love for one another and acknowledge God's institution of marriage. Let us make a moment, take a moment to call upon the Lord and thank Him for His great mercy and unending goodness to all who look to Him with humble and trusting hearts. Let us join our hearts together as we now bow our heads and ask our God and Father to bless <coughs> and strengthen Bill and Ruth in the life and challenges that lie ahead. Invite us 
to bow our heads and close our eyes as we offer prayers on behalf of Bill and Sharia. Let us pray. We give you thanks, dear Lord, for the institution of Christian marriage. And we ascribe glory, praise, and honor to you. We thank you for the purpose of marriage. And we thank you for the joy which Bill and Cheryl have found in you and through you in each other. We lift up their lives and their marriage before you, asking your blessing upon them, asking your blessing upon this ceremony, asking your blessing upon our lives, and we pray for the forgiveness of our sins, thanking you for the measure of grace offered to us in and through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that we might live lives built on the foundation of the Word of God, which will bring glory, praise, and honor to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Could we join together in the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Friends, we are living in days of unprecedented changes. Socially and spiritually. In this brief ceremony, I'd like to 